what is entity so why should i have this entity so i will have more than one entity which has got different different attributes the another name for the properties is what i will call it as a attributes if you are storing more than one value to that attribute then you will call it as a multi valued attribute hello everyone i welcome all of you to the very interesting session so in this session i will be discussing something called data model so you have already discussed data models right yes not only data model how exactly data modeling is related to the entity relationship so this is what the agenda which i will be discussing so in this session i will discuss or i will try to give you the clear idea about what exactly entity is all about and also i will discuss what is the meaning of entity types along with that entity sets and the last and a very important question you can expect this what exactly the different types of attributes so that's going to be a very important question with respect to your exam point of view you can expect this for 7 or 8 marks all right so this is what i will be covering in the session without wasting much of your time let me get into the session so guys the first thing that i have here is all about entity what is entity so why should i have this entity let's understand in depth uh before i start this definition let me just take an example uh imagine i have this pen so can i call this as an entity yes i can call this as an entity imagine i have this remote can i call this as an entity yes i can call this in as an entity then how do you identify this is an entity that's the next question that you will get any real world object anything that you have in this world okay so that i will call it as a real world object so fine which has got the properties so that is what i will call it as a an entity sir properties in the sense what observe if i take this pen this pen has got a different properties such as height of this pen type of this pen color of this pen cost of this pen manufacturer of this pen so all these things defines what type of this pen is all about correct so that properties defines the nature of this pen the property gives me the complete idea of this pen correct so any real world object which has got the properties like this that i will call it as a entity that's what you need to remember for example take an example remote so can you call this as an entity yes how do you say that it has got a properties again height of this remote type of this remote number of switches that i have in this remote cost of this remote all these things defines the type of this remote right so in the same way i have lights so even can i say light as an entity yes it is also an entity so different different things i can encounter in this real world that's what i will be calling it as a entity that's what you need to remember with respect to the entity i think by now you have got the clear idea about what is an entity so let me just give you a definition an entity can be a real world object either animate or inanimate that can be easily identifiable so how do you identify so i have already told you with an example that should have some properties that's going to be very very important so that's how you will be able to identify the entity for example in a school okay let me take this example so for example in a school database i have a student so how do you identify the student as an entity so i will have student id student name age address phone number all these things are the different attributes of the property of the student so that i will be able to identify the student as a entity in the school database this is how i will be identifying the entity that's what you need to remember all right moving forward all these entities have some attributes so this is going to be one of the new word which i am going to introduce for all of you sir you said properties my dear students the another meaning for the properties is what i will call it as a attributes here on words so i might not use the word called properties i will be sticking on to this particular word so that is what you need to remember both properties and attributes both are same that's what you need to remember at this point of time so fine now you understood what is an entity so you will be able to identify any real world ob 
entities, right? So any real world object is what we're treating it as a entity. So fine. Now moving forward to the next concept. So what do you call it as entity types? What do you call it as entity types? My dear students, it is very simple. If you understand the concept of entity, entity types is very simple. What is the meaning of it, sir? Say for example, I have student entity. Can I write a student as an entity? Yes. Suppose if I write one more entity, let's say for example, uh, marks. Can I uh, call it as an entity? Yes. How do you say that it is an entity, sir? Can I have marks ID? Can I have uh, total marks? Can I have type of the marks? So I will have the attributes for this marks also. So this is a different entity. So fine. I will write one more entity department. Okay. Can I call this as an entity? Yes, you can call this as an entity. So how department ID, department name, department members. So all these things, can I call it as an entity? Yes, I can call it as an entity. Do I have only one type of entity? No, I have three different type of entity. Can I call this as an entity types? Yes. If you have more than one entity of different types of attributes, then I will call that as a entity types. I repeat, I have more than one entity, but each entity has got the different attributes, different properties. Then I will call that as a entity types. It's very simple. Okay, don't make it very complex. It's simple and very easy. I will make it very simple for you to understand. All right. So this is what I will call it as a entity type. That's what you need to remember entity type. All right. So fine. Now I'll introduce one more thing. So what is this? Look at this diagram. What exactly this? What is that you understood with respect to this? I will tell that this is an entity set. I'm using three words. What is that? The first one is entity. Okay. The second word is entity type. What is the third word that I'm using? Entity set. These three things you should understand very clearly. So fine, you understood any real world object which has got the properties or attribute, you will call it as a entity. So now entity type. So I will have more than one entity which has got different different attributes that I will call it as an entity type. Now I have entity set. What is the meaning of entity set? So observe here what I have given. So I will consider employee as an entity. Can I consider employee as an entity? Yes. What is the property? Name of an employee, age of an employee, salary of an employee. So these three things are the attributes of this entity. Can I say that? Yes. So now observe entity set. What is the meaning of entity set? So I will have more than one, more than one entity which has got same attributes, then I will call that as entity set. So there is a difference between type and set. In set, what happens? I will have the same attributes. That's what you need to remember. That I will call it as a entity set. Sir, can you give me one more example? Yes. Imagine I have employee table or employee, you, you consider employee table. So this details is belongs to entity one. This details belongs to entity two. This details belongs to entity three. But observe one common thing. So each entity, whatever I have here has got same attributes that I will call it as a entity set. But when it comes to entity type, I should have the different, different attributes. That's what you need to remember. That is a major difference that you should understand. So fine. Hope you understood. Moving forward to the next thing that's going to be the attributes. Sir, you said properties are nothing but the attributes which describes the entity. Correct? Yes. The another name for the properties is what I will call it as a attributes. All right. Now I have different, different types of attributes. So this is going to be a eight marks or a seven marks question. Let me introduce the different types of attributes that you have. So what is the first one that we have? Let's check that. I have a simple attribute. What is the meaning of simple attribute? If I take a attribute, if I take a value, I cannot further divide that. So such attribute, I will call it as a 
simple attribute such attribute i will call it as a simple attribute i have uh, you know given an example like for example i have a student phone number can i divide that student phone number into further values no so that is what you need to remember with respect to the simple attribute okay so fine there is one more attribute composite attribute so composite attribute in the sense what observe in the name itself i have composite okay it it has i can divide that further composite what is the meaning of it sir can you give me an example for this imagine i will take a name can i divide that into two different things yes first name and the last name so such attributes i will call it as a composite attributes composite attributes are made up of more than one simple attribute it is composed of more than one simple attribute that is what you need to remember such attributes i will call it as a composite attribute so you understood first thing is simple second thing is composed simple is you cannot further divide it is atomic composed is made up of simple that's what you need to remember so fine you understood two different types of attributes moving forward what is the next thing that i have derived attributes so don't worry about the definition understand the concept that is more important you can write on your own what happens with that derived attributes remembering the example is very very important my dear students if you just remember the example automatically you can write on your own okay you don't have to copy the same definition all right so fine listen carefully i have a attribute called date of birth let's imagine i have a attribute called date of birth for a student student is what here student is an entity okay so attribute one of the attribute that i have is date of birth now i have one more attribute that is age now it is a very beautiful thing listen carefully can i calculate the age with the help of date of birth yes so this kind of attribute i will call it as a derived attribute you can derive the value of this attribute from another attribute such type of attributes is what i will call it as a derived attributes moving forward to the next one that i have i have single valued attributes multi valued attributes very simple if you are storing only one value for that particular attribute then i will call that as a single valued attribute if you are storing more than one value to that attribute then you will call it as a multi valued attribute that's very simple sir can you give me an example yes my dear students say for example i have an entity called student okay imagine i have a table here i have a serial number for the serial number how many values can i store i will store only one number say for example i will write 100 okay so fine i have name i have phone number imagine i have i have more than one phone number imagine i have more than one phone number can i store more than one phone number yeah first number second number so at that time phone number attribute will become multi valued attribute why because i'm storing two values so i'm storing how many values two values say for example till here i have one number after comma i have one more number so this is what the difference between single valued and multi valued attribute that's what you need to remember okay this is the different types of attribute that you have so guys i have come to an end of this session by introducing all of you to the concept of entity entity types entity set along with that we have also discussed what is attribute and different types of attributes in the coming session i will be discussing some of the interesting and simple topics which will help you to score more in this subject till then happy learning take care